What's good people? This is Absurd ENT and I'm back once again with a new video. Today's video I'll be showing you guys how I composed a soundtrack that is influenced by Sega Fantasy Star Online series. This series was pretty popular in the early 2000s on the Sega Dreamcast, PC, and also Nintendo GameCube. But I want to talk about the composition of some of the most memorable nostalgic soundtrack that helped me compose music, like some of the highly underrated composers like Hideyaki Kobayashi, Fumi Kumatani, and Kenichi Takoi. Sometimes we get so lost in the world of virtuality and gaming, we tend to overlook video games that bring the most nostalgic feeling in our lives, and that's the musical compositions. Here are examples of some of the nostalgic musical compositions Final Fantasy Star Online series have that gave me aspiration. Now let's take it away, baby. It's also a huge impact in my life as a music composer during my youth years when I was just starting to appreciate various styles of music in the video game universe. But something about Fantasy Star Line that always kept my attention and was always the universal sound that they used, that spacey sound, that bouncy sound, and many different styles of genre that they implement into the soundtrack of the game. But Fantasy Star Online is in a class of its own in terms of popularity and its time. Fantasy Star Online is a role-playing game developed by Sega Team and also published by Sega in 2000. I would like to say the Dreamcast really wasn't ahead of its time with all the exclusive games that they have. But before I show you how I composed the Fantasy Star Online soundtrack, I would like to explain how I made a soundtrack that is inspired in the style of Fantasy Star Online by talking about the classic popular synthesizers that was used to compose the soundtracks. One of the synths that was used in Fantasy Star Online by sources in an interview that was stated that Hideaki used a JV2080. And not just that, he also used the, the Triton, which is probably two of the best synthesizers that was used to compose Sega's composition soundtracks. I would also like to state the observation that I made, but I also hear elements of the Korg M1 wave station and also some of the city samples that Sega is notorious for using in some of their classic games and like Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis and also Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. So always remember when you're looking for like popular synthesizers like these video game com composers use it, you gotta look at what was popular during the time that these video games was coming out. So pretty much you wanna keep your eyes on the JV 2080 well actually you can get the 1080 from Roland's stores where you can purchase online but I'll leave that in the description but also the Trident in the um, Korg M1 I will also leave a link in the description for that as well for you guys can purchase this stuff so if anything let's get right into the video I'm gonna show you how I composed my very first Final Fantasy Star Online inspired soundtrack First thing I want to talk about is the program I'm using, which is FL Studio. I've been using it since 2007 when I was only 17 years old, but it's a really good program. I suggest any future composer to use this program. But first, I want to explain what the intro of the track is going to sound like, which I use a motion synth from the Trini EX VST. I wanted to capture to create a character type of feel for the soundtrack, so I went with my knowledge on the type of sound I will hear in a Fantasy Star Online soundtrack. So now check this out. I want to show you what type of motion synth that I used. All right, so you got the feel of that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the hat's industrial sounds, basically. So the hat industrial sound, I noticed that um, Fantasy Star Online also used them type of, you know, industrial type of drum kits, sometimes trance. But there is many different variations of genre in um, Fantasy Star Online, but usually their music have a lot of industrial, you know, drum kits. Basically, I want you to hear the industrial drum kicks, what it sounds like with the motion synth on top of it.
You hear that? I'll also add a, a polysynth to on top of it. Let me remind you guys again, I am using the E minor scale. So if I have not said that in the beginning of, you know, this um, video, my bad. I apologize, but I am using the E minor scale. I'm not using no E Lydian scale or nothing like that. I'm just sticking right with the, you know, natural scales that I am familiar with, which is the minor scale. So I know the Lydian scale is another scale that you can use for like a dreamy type of vibe. But this is something I'm not using for a dreamy type of vibe. So I just want to capture that feel of like emotion within this track. So I went with the E minor scale instead of the E Lydian. Now this is where the lead comes in, basic the melody. So just listen to it. Now this is where the crash comes in and it takes you to another part of the track, which is another melody with strings. Here comes the crash and the hit. Again. For this part, I think I might have used a piano for this. And that's what I got so far. Uh, yeah, if you guys felt like you got some value out this video, I would appreciate it. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell button. But not just that on top of it, if you guys have some suggestions on what other type of soundtrack y'all want me to explain or compose, please put your comments in the comment section and let me know what, you, what other videos you expect me to do, basically, as a music composer. I want to make more videos like this. So I just don't make video game com compositions, but I also make beats too on top of it from a dose swim type of beat, lo-fi, hip hop, trap music, R&B, neo soul. Don't really matter what it is, basically. I try to be as versatile as best as possible. That's why they call me CVS the Abstract, crossing various styles. I'm not just sticking to one style or genre. I like to be inspired by multiple things. But I would like to say thank you guys for watching. If you feel like you got some value out this video, like I said before, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell button. I will leave, I will be leaving the fall soundtrack playing in the background for you guys to rehear that. And just give me your opinion about what you think of the track and what other type of music composition you expect me to um, break down in terms of that nostalgic feel in video game music. If you guys want to like show your boy support, go ahead and show me support. But this is Optane ET. I'm out. Got one love. God bless you all.